Ken, explain to us why, why you believe that the old are prospering at the expense of the young. I don't believe it. It's proof positive. It's here. You don't need a, this is not a religious or a spiritual belief. This is math. It's here. And these kids are going to be busted. You know, I, I, um, I had the good fortune to be invited to speak as a keynote speaker at a real estate conference at the University of Missouri, and I could talk about whatever I wanted, which is always dangerous. But, you, know, <laughs> you never know. But I talked about generational theft, and I talked about intellectual diversity. And, and let me frame the intellectual, the, the, uh, the generational theft. I asked with a bunch of kids, students, wonderful students, nice people. I asked them. Midwesterners. You understand, from Cincinnati. <laughs> uh, I, I asked them, how many of you are concerned about the environment 50 years from now? And every one of them raised their hand. So they're worried about elephants, and they're worried about tigers, and they're worried about bees being able to pollinate so we have honey and all that. I mean, we know they're worried. And I said, it's very interesting. Help me out. How can you be interested in that? and not be interested in what's going to happen to you in 50 years because of the way I'm robbing you now. And I speak only of myself. I think, I think this is not one size fits all. Please understand that. And then the other example I like to use, I like to get a bunch of old geezers in a room and say, you're on an island with your grandchild. You have one meal left. One of you is going to starve to death earlier than the other. What do you as a grandchild, do, grandfather do He's all, every one of them, oh, I give it to my grandchild, right? They're not doing that now. We're not doing that now. I'm getting it. My wife and I, we just got a raise, by the way. We got a nice 3 or 4% raise. I don't know what the hell. It's close to $50,000 a year we get in Social Security. Now, if you're right that I'm worth all this money you said I'm worth, which I'm not <laughs> confirming, but if you want to think I'm worth that, but let's assume you're right. Explain to me why I should get anything from the federal government or any government. Okay, so if we don't understand, if we don't understand what's happening to these children who one day will be seniors, God, let's hope to God that when I was 21, I didn't think about being 77. Guess what? I'm here. Now, I won. I, this country was, gave me such an enormous opportunity, and I had so many people helping me along the way. Guess what? It works. <laughs> but. We have to stop this because we will go broke, and these kids are being ripped off. I appealed to them on Monday. Do I have a second? I appealed yeah. to them on Monday. I said, the only reason it's not happening is because there are lobbyists and organizations out there to protect old guys like me. But the Congress don't hear a voice of you kids. Trust me. If a congressman is now or a, or a senator is confronted with, well, I got this many people against the law, and I got this many people for the law, you're going to have a more honest decision than if you got AARP, and pardon me, I am not a member of AARP, <laughs> and I will not be, because I don't think that what right. they're doing is necessarily constructive. Ken, I just want to show you this chart. It's, it Good. shows exactly what you are speaking about. This Good. is Social Security ben beneficiaries as a ratio to private payrolls, and the idea is it's just skyrocketed, the amount of Social Security beneficiaries to the number of people that are working. There are half as many people on Social Security as there are private payrolls. Yeah. The numbers are there. Yeah. What's the easiest way to go about this, though? Are you proposing that we cut Social Security payments to everybody no. or just put a means test in Let's place? Let's get the easy ones off the table. People like you who don't need it. You get nothing. You're done, baby. You want uh, uh, a, a, an analogy I make is I buy fire insurance on my house. Dear God, please never give me a reason to put a claim in for my fire insurance. Please. Now, thank God I don't have a claim. Do I go back to the insurance company and say, hey, I didn't put a claim in. Give me my premiums back. Consider this insurance. I ensured that, God forbid, if when I'm 75 or 80 years old, I'm in the middle. But if I'm 75 or 80 and I won, and God bless it, I won. <laughs> if anybody needs to have a reason to understand how great this country is, spend five minutes with me in an elevator, and trust me, you'll believe.